In the following video, we'll demonstrate one of the more advanced features of the Arc Flash Label Editor that is using conditionals on colors, text, and visibility. First of all, let's get into Designer by selecting the design, vaulting the buses, bringing up the report, and launching the designer. Now, once you've started the editing, in this case we're going to edit this one, this template here, which has lots of conditional features. Start the editor. Once you select an item, you're going to see if this is conditional, it'll have this something looking like this here, where in this case, the background color of this rectangle, the fill color of the rectangle, is conditional instant energy. And as you see, when you scroll down the devices, the color changes. And that's all controlled by this area over here. Because we said that if incident energy is greater than or for, equal to 40, then make the rectangle red. Otherwise, make the rectangle orange. If you wanted to add two levels to the color, you select one of the levels, duplicate it. In this case, I want to make it be greater than or equal to 15. I want to make that be, let's say, yellow. Sort it so that it evaluates in an order. Now when the incident energy is greater than 40, it's going to be red. When it's greater than 15, it's going to be yellow. Otherwise, it's going to be orange. And if you scroll through your devices now, you notice the changes from orange and yellow and red based upon which device you have selected. If you change your mind about this extra level, all you have to do is select it and remove it. And if you make, want to make the color be unconditional, all you have to do is do that. And then now it's always going to be red, no matter what the incident energy is. And again, you can undo our last change, and here we are back where it started. The other option you have on the comparison is to change the comparison to be less than or equal. So now, when the instant energy is less than or equal to 40, it's going to be red, otherwise it's going to be orange. As you can see, it's reverse. Now danger is going to show orange, and the warning levels will be red. The uh, other thing you can do with the conditional is change what variable you're conditional on, and any variable we have is, is conditional. We have different types of variables. Some are integers, some are floating point numbers, and some are strings, and some are booleans. And the conditions they support will be different, and how they work will be different. OK, so the second type of item that you can have be conditional within a graphical item is the text itself, the text content. And there's two graphical items that have text content. One is the actual text item, and the other one is the QR code. And both these allow the text content to be conditional. So for example, in this case, we're already making the text on the title block either say danger or warning. And it's danger, again, if incident energy is greater than 40, and it's warning otherwise. You can add a variable to this as well. So if you want to have this item here have a variable and this not, that's possible. And that's demonstrated down at the bottom by this text item, where we said that if the upstream chip device is empty, in other words, there is no upstream chip device, then just show device name. Otherwise, if it's not empty, then show device name with some text describing fed by, as well as the upstream chip device. And that's because we don't want this extra text to be here on the right visible if there's no upstream chip device. And you can see that by scrolling through the devices and how the actual thing changes. Again, you have control on your comparison here. And this is a string variable. So you can say not equals equals whether the string variable contains another string. Is it empty in this case? Or to start with another kind of string? And again, you can make it unconditional as well. So it only shows device name. The third kind of conditionality that we support is visibility on the item itself. What that means is that if the visibility is false, then it's going to show nothing about 
that graphical item. It won't show the graphical item at all. That sometimes happens already because certain items like text items and QR codes, if there is no text content, then they disappear all by themselves. So for example, at the bottom of the graphical list is a label comment. But as you can see, it's currently grayed out in the graphical list. And that, the gray value indicates that it's currently invisible. If we put some comments in there, it turns some gray. Sorry, I misspelled that. Back into black. And if we instead make that be a variable, like upstream tip device, that we know sometimes is there and sometimes is not, it's going to change its visibility as well. If we have a graphical item that we want to have it come and go based upon a condition that's not supported, like text, then we again can use visibility. So for example here, if we wanted to have the warning be one kind of icon and danger here be a different kind of icon, the way we would do that is to find two icons right on top of each other and one would show when it's danger and one would show it's warning. And as you already know, the text here is controlled by instant energy, so we're going to do the same thing with the icon. So let's do that. So insert another image. In this case, we want the icon to be danger. But we're going to make this one be conditional on incident energy greater than or equal to 40. And we're going to make its position match the other icon, which you can see is 0 0.65, 0 0.11, 0 0.85, 1.1. Now they're right on top of each other. The other icon is still showing because we haven't told it to go away when incident energy is greater than or equal to 40, and the way we do that, we say if incident energy is less than 40, then we want it visible. So now, between the two icons we have, here and here, their conditions are the opposite of each other, and only one would be visible at a time. And let's actually put them right on top of each other. So we'll move it be backwards. Now they're literally right next to each other. And as you see, when we scroll through the different Instant energies, the icon changes just like the text is changing. But in this case, we're controlling the icon on visibility. Now we're done with our edits. We save our edits. Here. Sorry, I forgot to change the title. And now we have a new template that has a new feature, which is conditional icon. As you can see, it shows up here, and the old one does not do that. We go to the print, and we select the new one, and you can see it's all working properly.